Hi, brothers and sisters. It's Brother Matt uh, here at the Strength for Today YouTube channel. I am coming to you on October 11th, 2024. It is Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the holiest day of the year uh, in uh, Judaism. And uh, here as I'm recording this, the sun is going down uh, where I am. And of course, it's already gone down in Israel and the, the festival has already begun there. Um, but for us here, the sun is just going down. Uh, I've got a message from the Lord this morning that I want to share with you here in a few minutes. A bit uh, unusual in that it came first thing in the morning. Uh, typically, the messages have come at night. This one came in the morning. Um, so I, uh, it's taken me a little while, but I finally have it ready to share with you. If you're new here, uh, what I do on this channel is I share... The messages that the Lord has given me, he has been giving me messages really over the last two years, particularly since April of 2023. The messages started on uh, the night before Good Friday and continued all the way to Pentecost. And that series of messages I collected together in this book, it's called Tell My People. And uh, you can see there was... A message really every day over a period of 52 days um, following that the Lord continued to bring messages um, sometimes uh, sometimes there are days in between sometimes there's weeks sometimes it's longer when a long period this summer with no message um, but what I have been doing on this channel since I started posting these messages here is just to read the messages that the Lord has given me to you. And I read them here word for word. I read them just as they were given to me. I try to give them back to you uh, without any extra sort of commentary or, or explanation. And, and that means that you have to trust in and ask the Holy Spirit for discernment and wisdom how to respond to the things that are in these these messages and um, and so that's what I encourage you to do I encourage you to ask of the Holy Spirit and uh, ask him to be the guide and the teacher uh, and the counselor because he is the one that leads us into the way of all truth um, so as I read the message here in a minute I pray that uh, the Holy Spirit will guide and, and direct you how you should respond to that I also post these messages in addition to here on YouTube. I post them over on Substack, um, and that's where you can find the transcription. And typically when I post on Substack, I also include um, the Bible cross-references that seem appropriate to go with each passage. And something I've recently begin, begun doing is uh, recording a, a podcast where I'm uh, sharing the messages there. And um, so I want you to know about all of that. I am very grateful for this community that has grown up on this channel over the last year and some months. I'm amazed at how this community has grown, of course, and what the Lord has done uh, with this channel. But I'm, I'm grateful for this community because you are a community of people that prays and you pray for each other. And I know you pray for me. And I just want you to know how amazed I am by that and how grateful I am for that and how um, it, it always impresses me the way that this community responds to each other and, and how you've responded to me. And, um, and I just think um, often how the Lord is glorified through the things you guys post in the comments as, as you're praising him and, and acknowledging him and acknowledging the things that he's done in your life. That is a, that is a great thing, and in many ways, it, it is um, it is like a church. You know what's going on here as we worship the Lord and we gather together uh, to support each other, to pray for each other, and to consider His words. Um, I pray that, however you are today, whatever is going on in your life, that the Lord would encourage you and be with you and give you strength to stand firm and to endure uh, through the things going on in this world and wherever you are today I pray that this word uh, that I'm about to read would be of encouragement to you so 
Uh, having said all of that, I'm kind of blathering on and I apologize. Um, having said all that, let's go ahead and get into it. So this message is, uh, was given October 11th, uh, just earlier today. This is what, um, this is what the Lord said. Listen, O man, O nations, for I the Lord shall speak unto you. I am he who took on flesh and dwelt among you. He who is called the Son of the Most High. He who was born of the virgin womb. He who suffered and died on the cross to cleanse you from your sin. He whose body was broken and whose blood was shed to give you an entrance. He who was buried in the tomb. He who rose on the third day. He who appeared and ascended before their very eyes. He who is coming soon to judge the living and the dead. I am coming soon, and my host is with me. Prepare yourselves, therefore, for me, O men, O nations, for my words are true. He who is in my hand shall not be shaken, for I shall snatch him away to take him to the place I have prepared. I will set his feet upon the rock that he might not be shaken. Though the storm rages, he shall not be moved. He who I hold in my hand is held secure. For I shall lose none of those who belong to me. Speak this message to the people that they might know and understand that I, the Lord, still speak. For I am a living God. I am the God of the living, not the dead. For I am he who was and who is, and who is to come, and I am coming soon. Will you be ready, O people, O nations, for that day? Look to the nation where the chosen people dwell. Watch and see. For I shall enter into the chosen city again. Make way for me. Make my path straight. For the ancient gates shall be reopened. And the path shall be made clear. For I am coming. Awake, O Israel. Hear the word of the Lord, for your Messiah is coming to you, and the sword is in my hand, and my mighty host is with me. Soon you will see what your fathers refused to see, for you shall see me with your own eyes, and then you will know. There is still a God in Israel. There is still a God in Israel. I am he who is called the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. He who is called the branch of Jesse and the seed of Abraham. He who is known as both king and priest. For I shall sit on the throne of David, and I shall make 
my enemies a footstool. I shall put my enemies to shame and silence them forever. For I am the Lord, and there is no other. Prepare yourselves therefore, O Israel, for your king is coming to you. I am calling forth my remnant to stand up and rise. Wake up, O sons and daughters. Open your eyes and see. I, the Lord, have called you as a nation from among the nation and a remnant from among the remnant. I have marked you with my name and sealed you for this day. I will equip you for the battle and a work prepared for you. I will make your hands strong. I will put my sword in your hand that you might fight for me. Do not fear, for I am with you. And though the enemy rages against you, you shall overcome him by your testimony. I have prepared a robe for you and a stone with a new name. I will put a ring on your finger, for you are mine, my own, my beloved children. Awake, return to me, O children of the Lord. Tell them that the cry has gone out, for the bridegroom is coming, and the bride has made herself ready. She has adorned herself in the clean robes and righteous acts of the saints. The feast is about to begin. The call goes out. Make ready for the feast of the bride and bridegroom has come. Tell them, speak these words that some might listen and hear. For those who will heed, for those who believe, for those who are watching still. Believe in me and in my word, for my word alone is trustworthy. For I am the firm foundation and the rock on which you stand. Stand firm, therefore, O children, as you await the trumpet call. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. He who sets the heavens in their place and laid the foundations of the earth. I am he who makes something out of nothing, he who speaks to you. Worship the Lord, all you saints, and give glory to his name alone. For his name is the only name worthy to be praised, and in his name alone can salvation be found for your souls. I am the Eternal One, the One who was and who is and who is coming soon. Prepare yourselves for me, O saints. Prepare. Watch for me. Look for me. For I am coming soon.
Brothers and sisters, uh, that is the word that the Lord has for us today, October 11th, Yom Kippur, the day of atonement, the day when the priest would enter into the most holy place to offer a sacrifice on behalf of the people. But we have been given a more perfect sacrifice. We no longer have to rely on the sacrifice of bulls and goats and doves and animals and all of these other things because the blood of Christ alone, alone is the perfect sacrifice for your sins. It says in the scripture that God demonstrates his love for you and that even though you were a sinner, Christ died for you. His blood gives us an entrance into that place with God. Through his blood, through his body, broken for you on the cross, you have an entrance before the Most Holy God. It is not because of anything that you have achieved on your own, or anything that you have done on your own. It is purely because of what Christ has done by going before you, by interceding for you, by taking your place on the cross. That is the place that you and I all deserve. And yet Christ was willing to die for us, to take your place. And through him, we have an entrance. He has offered us forgiveness for our sins. And he has taken his righteousness. And he offers that to us to clothe our unrighteousness. So that when God looks at us, when he looks at you, he does not see all of your sin and your unrighteousness, and your failures, and the things that you have done, and said, and thought, that have been against him, have displeased him. We are all sinful. I am a sinful man. I am an ordinary person, just like anybody else, and I am capable of, of terrible failure. And yet, Christ died for me, and for you. And he has given us his righteousness to clothe us. That is that that white robe, that new robe. Because our robes are filthy, my friends. And yet, he allows us, uh, he gives us a clean robe. I don't know where you are tonight, or where this video finds you, or when it finds you. But if you have not yet turned to him, if you have not yet made Jesus the Lord of your life, if you have not yet called on him for salvation, I pray for you that you would call on him right now. It says in Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, let me just show it to you. It says it right here. Let's see. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. The scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. Right? In verse 13, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Have you called on him? If you haven't called on him, my friends, I encourage you now to call on his name because it is his name alone in which you might be saved confess with the mouth but we also have to believe right we have to believe 
We have to have faith because without faith, it is impossible to please God. That's Hebrews 11, 6. I pray for you wherever you are tonight or this morning or whenever you're seeing this video. If you haven't yet called on him, that you would. And brothers and sisters in Christ, I pray for you wherever you are right now in this moment that you would be emboldened to continue to preach the gospel. Every day that we have breath in our lungs is an opportunity that we have to speak the gospel, to make disciples of all nations. You do not have to be a gifted preacher in order to move someone just a little bit further along, to give them a word of encouragement, to let them know that God loves them, that Jesus died for them, that salvation is available to them, to pray for someone that you just see and they come to your mind just to give a simple word, right? The Lord is the one who will draw people to himself. He is the one that opens the heart, but he uses us. We are the body of Christ while we are on this earth. We are the hands and the feet. And so I pray that he would use you and use me and use all of us while we're here. We work while it is day because the night is coming we don't know when that day is going to happen but we know it is so brothers and sisters i encourage you today and i pray for you and i pray that the lord uh, would bless you and be with you that he would make his face shine upon you and that he would give you peace and i will see you again whether I see you here or I see you around the table when we are at the feast. I look forward to that day. I say, come, Lord Jesus, come. We are ready. We are ready. Brothers and sisters, I love you, and I will see you next time.